John Alzheimer is known as one of our nation's most recognized credit experts. Having worked for 28 years in the credit industry, John has become one of the most prolific speakers about credit and the go-to authority on answers to credit-related questions. Credit Countdown with John Alzheimer. Hello, this is John Alzheimer. I am a consumer credit expert. I have almost 30 years of experience in the credit industry. I have worked for FICO, which is the company behind the FICO credit scoring system, and Equifax, which is one of the three credit reporting agencies in the United States. I am currently sitting in Atlanta traffic, which um, is not fun. So today I'm gonna uh, talk to you a little bit about uh, kind of an alternative to normal garden variety methods of payment. So normally when you make payment on something, and I'm not talking about from a credit and borrowing perspective, I'm talking about if you go to a website and you buy something, how are you making your payments? And so most of the time when you're buying something from a website, think about like Amazon Prime, where you're on Amazon and you're buying something, you know, it's gonna bill to whatever credit card you have on file. Same thing if you're like you know, booking an airline ticket or rent a car or a hotel, or if you're buying anything online, after like eBay or whatnot, then you're gonna pay with whatever credit card you have on file uh, with the particular company. Over the past couple of years, um, a new alternative has become more common. Uh, not necessarily an alternative in lieu of paying with your credit card, but an additional alternative if you choose to take advantage of it. It's called buy now, pay later, or if you see it referred to kind of in the blogosphere, BNPL. Everyone loves to come up with an acronym for something. So buy now, pay later, BNPL. So if you, if you ever see BNPL, you know that means buy now, pay later. And essentially what buy now, pay later is, is it gives you the ability to make a purchase on a website but not pay for it until some time in the future. And so it kind of gives the perception that you're buying it on credit uh, because you don't have to pay for it right away. So what is there, what is, you know, is BNPL good? Is it bad? What's, what's the pro, what's the con? So there's a couple of things to keep in mind. Most of the time, people who take advantage of these buy now, pay later options are doing so because they don't have a better alternative. And a better alternative is always gonna be a credit card because you earn rewards, um, you don't have to pay interest if you make your payment in full by the end of the grace period, you have ironclad fraud protections. And so there's really, that's really the, the kind of the, the optimal way to buy something online because it's just so efficient and your, the protections are so fantastic for consumers. And of course you get the rewards points, which is not a bad deal either. Buy now, pay later, you you will pay interest. Um, it's almost like a short term loan if you, if you really wanna kind of give it a, a comparison. Um, the interest rates are not necessarily egregious. And so they're going to differ by buy now, pay later um, provider. So you're gonna to wanna to do a little bit of research. I've seen buy now, pay later interest rates in the low double digits, which is usually actually better than a credit card. The difference is, is that with a credit card, the interest is optional because you can make your payment in full by the grace period. But buy now, pay later, um, your interest may not be optional. You may have to actually start paying interest the minute you, you borrow whatever it is that you borrow to make your payment. So if you think about it from that perspective, if you buy something that's $100 and you start paying interest on it immediately, then whatever you purchased really wasn't $100, it's $100 plus your interest. Um, so buy now, pay later, another shortcoming of the option is it does not help you build credit. So even though it's a, a quasi extension of credit, um, it doesn't show up on your credit report uh, in a positive sense, meaning you don't get positive credit for, for paying your buy now, pay later on time. However, if you default on it, you know where I'm headed with this, um, it can end up on your credit report in the form of a collection, and that obviously can be problematic. So what is the draw to buy now, pay later? First off, it, it, if you go to the grocery store, have you ever heard of what's called the speed aisle? Or um, uh, some people also kind of, it's the in the impulse, aisle at the uh, at the grocery store it's it's when you're standing in line to check out and you're walking by and you see all the magazines you see all the gum you see all the candies you see all the breath mints um, you, you know you may, you may see some batteries you may see a cola or two 
And that's the kind of stuff that the grocery stores have done extensive research and they've determined there's a lot of people that are going to impulse buy just because that item is right there um, and, and it's right before you check out. So buy now, pay later is kind of like that a little bit. It gives you that option right when you're about to check out and there's a possibility that you kind of might impulse your way or impulse buy your way into that as an alternative. Um, and it, although it's not really a better alternative, especially to credit cards, and it's not really a better alternative even to something like debit, uh, where you, again, you're not paying any interest because you're paying with money in your checking account. So if you're on a website and you see some of these kind of oddly named op payment options, those are probably buy now, pay later. You know, do your research before you use them. I tell, always tell consumers that, you know, before you click the buy button, make sure you do some due diligence. Um, thanks a lot for watching. If you have any questions about buy now, pay later, drop them in the section below. We'll talk again soon. Have a good day. For more videos and credit tips from John Olsheimer, go to www.tradelinesupply.com.